Rob, Rob, you good? You good? You good, Rob? Yeah, I'm good. Welcome to Breaking Initiative. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We're on Apple Podcast, um, Spotify, wherever else you get your podcasts. We are probably there. My name is Brett. And I'm Rob. Uh, we're going to actually just continue right on from the last episode that we just did. Uh, we're continuing uh, with the Mission Zero um, of Wild Beyond the Witchlight. Brett's going to DM. I'm making a character. I have the concept laid out for a character that I think would be an interesting one to play. Yeah. And and we what well, all we've done in the last video we rolled the we rolled the dice and laid out what our, our plan is, you know we're we're gonna do pieces of this campaign uh, one at a time in, in, in increments as episodes where Brett's gonna continue to DM, and uh, and I'm gonna we're just gonna make character I don't even know what it's gonna be I don't know what race it's gonna be I got a, I got a framework just to remind you. I am making a bard as the character. He's somebody who has, um, he used to be like a charlatan, you know, he'd go around scamming people. I got some ideas for some things that maybe he, he used to do in the past. He's not necessarily like a good person now, but he he's moved on from it at least perhaps to get away from the law. His business is his own. He doesn't share it with too many people, but uh, you know, he's uh, he stepped away from that darker past where he really didn't give a crap about anybody. And um, he heard about this this carnival, which is a, and perhaps that they are hiring or would use someone from his, of his skills. He's a level two bard after all. We're gonna make him level two. Uh, and I think that uh, it's it, it's like a win win for him. He can get a job with you know on the straight and narrow, and also maybe lay low at the same time. You know, if there's anybody on his tail that's looking for him because of past crimes that he hasn't been uh, brought to justice for. Yeah. So that's my concept. That's his concept. Throw all of that out yes. the window. You are a zombie, Rob. No, I'm just joking. Yes. <laughs> what? That's not what we talked about. Uh, we did a whole episode. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> um, yeah. So, so that's that's. Yeah, I'm, I'm I'm still fine tuning. As soon as we are done with this, and then the next episode when we start, it's all going to be ready. Um, okay. So you guys get to kind of go through not just the session zero, but also things that really <coughs> you should talk to your players about. You know, a DM maybe shouldn't always be completely surprised on what's your name and your character. It's cool to kind of go back and forth a little bit beforehand as the DM knows the campaign and goes, all right, how can I make this as best as possible? Because the players is why the D the DM has fun when the players are having fun. So that's the goal. And so we want to make it feel as cool for them as possible. Um, and that also makes us feel good. So um, we are going to start creating our characters right now. Okay, Rob is uh, creating his bard. Um, I am going to let you guys know this. Don't know how I'm going to introduce him yet. I have ideas. Again, it's going to be fine-tuned and, and messed with. Um, he is going to have a friend of his, or not, or somebody that he runs into, or whatever, is going to be the new Her Herringdon race. Herringdon. Herringdon? Herringdon? We literally just went over this I last don't video. remember. Herringdon. Herringdon. No, it's Har Don. Har Har Harbinger. Harbinger. Harbingdon. Oh, that doesn't sound good. That doesn't sound good at all. <laughs> also, yeah, moving on. Okay. Herring gone. Yeah, herring, herring gone? Wait, did you say gone? Hair in gone. Hair in gone. I keep saying dawn. Whatever. Whatever. <laughs> that's, that's definitely not no. right. <laughs> okay, so uh, the other thing, guys, that I did not bring up from the last episode, um, the time. Whenever we are playing, um, we're still going to try and stick to the half hour to 45 minutes most likely, whenever we do other segments and other videos, we try and stick to the half hour. Uh, with playing, we're going to probably extend that possibly to the 45 minutes on whenever it's a good time to stop. You know, So we might stop at 26 minutes. We might stop at 46 minutes. But we're going to really try and stay in that range of kind of playing it out. You know, you know how these live videos, they're not live, but you know, these videos go whenever they're playing. It's, they're not all the same. Uh, so, so you guys know that. Um, all right. So, 
I'm creating a fun herring gone uh, character that I am excited for. Um, it is going to counter Rob's um, bard because just to help, it's only two of them. That's why before we had let him roll instead of do anything else, and he rolled really high. I rolled really high for his character. So we should be good. I'm pretty much just gonna play this almost as is because it's made for level one. You can start at level three if you want to let it be easier, but level one, but four, up to four characters and they're only level two, but they rolled and they rolled high and I'm even giving them an uncommon magic item. So Rob, did we have that list of uncommon magic items? Did you want to roll on that? It, it, it's uh, it's actually um, uh, common magic. Common items. magic item, right? Uncommon is a little yeah. more. Yeah, common magic items. Right, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, let let's. Okay, so I guess I at least know the the class I'm going to be. I, I'm definitely going to be a bard. Okay. I've decided. So, um, would you allow me to re-roll if it's something that's absolutely useless for my class? What do you mean? For instance, the hat. Uh, in Xanathar's guide that allows you to, if you're a wizard, uh, casts any cantrip once per day that you don't uh, have. You don't absolutely. Know. I, and also, it, and okay. it goes the opposite way, too. If we, if you somehow roll something where I'm like, ooh, that's game-breaking, I'm going like, to actually re-roll that. Okay. So it, I have a 100-sided die, you sir. You mother... <laughs> Here we go. This is, a, this is something I created for my games whenever I want to, like, randomize loot because I, I don't like the one that comes from the DMG. I made it different. I have a little more control over it when I'm planning my games. It's, I think there's sand in this. Yeah, 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 yeah. So it doesn't roll forever. That's why it's rattling. Yeah, yeah. Here Probably we go. Probably hit that thing, you know, 100 yards. <laughs> 86. Okay. On my chart is probably something stupid because they're all common magic items. 86. It is something stupid. But. I also, for every common magic item, made an alternate version that is the exact same thing but slightly different flavored. So in this case, using this chart that I've made, I can pick either the Staff of Flowers, right, which allows me to grow flowers somewhere near me, um, or the Fungal Staff, which allows me to do the same thing but with mushrooms, basically. Okay. Hmm. I am... I can't... I don't know what I was expecting, but I'm, I think I'm still disappointed, but it's okay. We're just going to roll with it. Um, <laughs> yeah, I like it. I like it. And I, okay. I like it. Matter of fact, you can choose. You can choose. You can choose. Uh, I, I'll even give this to you. You don't even have to choose now. You can just wait until like, you know what? Oh, the staff of fungal or whatever is going to be better. And then boom, whatever you choose for your first thing. That's what we'll just keep it at for the rest of the campaign. Okay. You're welcome. <laughs> this is never good. All right. Wow. I I don't know. They're both so good. I'm just trying I don't know to give you to trying to give you something, buddy. But let's see what our you got the list up there in front of you. Our rabbit friend. He I rolled a twenty and a seven, so it'd be twenty seven. Rob, what's twenty seven? Oh oh right right right. I didn't know he's getting one too. Yeah yeah. I'm gonna give him one as well. Twenty seven. So there is two magic items on this list that are literally just like um, the sort of constant destroying. <laughs> worse, no, <laughs> much worse. Uh, items that are for people that are missing an eye or limb right. to just give you make you normal instead of handicapped. Sure. And you just got Ursat's eye. It's a solid glass eyeball that produces a dim aura, opaque in coloration determined by the DM that literally goes in your eye socket and allows you to see through it so I'm gonna so uh, fake real eye got it yeah the the other the other option is the looking patch it's a, uh, a black eye patch with a white symbol of an eye over the outside of the patch that actually that works as an eye the, yes yeah okay um, I'm gonna roll one more time for him <laughs> <laughs> Wait, why don't I get to roll one more time? What the hell is this? Because, you know, I'm the DM. That's why. <coughs> got a staff of flowers. Go to 54. What's 54? 54. 54 is a potion of climbing or a hand ointment of climbing. Okay. I like that. 
All right. Obviously, that's a expendable one, but I'm sure it'll come in handy for right, something. Right, right. Yeah. Okay. Um, so, with the staff of flowers there, Rob, you can pick one of the other things as well. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Well, I was gonna have Appreciate I was gonna have you pick one of the, either the ointment or the or the flower or the or the the fake real eye. Oh 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 oh! I see. Oh, I see. Okay, so it's already been rolled. Okay, I'm going to go with uh, the. I think we go with the ersatz eye. Oh, really? Give yourself some personality. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he's gonna have like a gemstone eyeball, basically. No, wait, is that what it was? It was a uh, ersatz, -er a solid glass eyeball that produces a dim aura. You can yeah, you can like flavor me. that however you like. You could have it to where it's a okay. solid gemstone, whatever. You could skin it however you like, but that's how it works. <laughs> All right. Got it. Got it. Got it. Okay. Got it. Okay. okay. All right. So um, yeah, I'm I'm pretty happy with this. Um, I. Don't know where I'm going to introduce our friend here, um, but uh, with you being a bard, I mm. I was gonna go. I'm gonna I'm gonna go full on barbarian, but like small, and pick even the small size barbarian. <laughs> just, okay. I just feel like that's just gonna be fun. I'll figure out a voice form for you. Hey, you know what would be a good one is the, um, oh, what is that, that new one from Tasha's for Barbarian? Uh, the wild, uh, like the wild magic one, right. the path yes. of wild magic? Yeah. yeah, that would be an amazing one for you. Okay, it. I love it, I love it, I love it. It's kind of like we're doing what uh, Matt Mercer did to create Orly on Critical Role. He did a whole, like, extra video for, like, people to just comment on, like, oh, you should do this, and da da da, -da. And eventually he came up with... You know, a barred turtle with a with a, um, a, a New Orleans accent. You know, southern. So, you know, with a stutter, with a stutter, and you just kind of all right. right. That's what it is. And or everybody loves Orly. If you don't like Orly, you're a bad person. Um, yeah, I like that. I like that. Um, I'll come up with a name at one point. Okay. What was it? Oh yeah. What was is it Wild Magic Barbarian? What is it? Path of the I think it's Path of Wild Magic. I, I, I'm not at that page yet. Right. Hold on. I do have the book uh, Tasha's book up. Hold on. It is uh yeah, Path of Wild Magic. I was right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <coughs> I'm totally gonna get that. Alright. I will create that. Um Okay, so we have our characters made. We have your sidekick made. Um, we're we're at 13 minutes into this video, basically. I didn't pick my race. Oh, yeah, I yeah. I did not have my character you made. You did not have your character made. Yeah. So the final touches of my character. I want them to be somebody that looks trustworthy. That would have to make sense, right? They have to be trustworthy. With an eye patch. With an eye patch. Gosh. So... Someone kind of cut of the common cloth kind of person. Let's see. So, I mean, Eric Kokri are cool, but eh, I feel like I could make a whole video about how some of these races are just... People just play them, like, the same stereotypical way that's way wrong and stuff. But uh, we're not going to go into that. Lizard folk, for instance, would be a terrible idea. Because how can you be a lizard folk uh, who swindles people? They're just not going to trust you. Uh, right. Uh, satyr is an interesting idea. Obviously human or elf or half-elf. I don't want to go fairy. We already got Heron gone, and I want to play somebody that's sort of uh, unfamiliar with the Feywild. Right. Um, I'm going to avoid war, uh, uh, um, Eberron races because I just want to kind of keep this very grounded in its feel. So no, as fun as it would be to be a changeling who is a you know charlatan, um, I'm not going to do that. Let's see. A Leonin. You know, I never give Leonin enough credit and thought. It is one of those Magic the Gathering ones, isn't it? I it, think? it is, I believe, yes. Yeah. 
Yeah. And I'm not too familiar with their society or anything like that. I Tabaxi, though, maybe would be a, fit a little better if I want to I go mean, that way. In the mid-maxing side of things, like... I'm not thinking about that too much. Okay, I was going to say, Tabaxi, for the most part, like, even though lions are so much cooler and better, like, Tabaxi, just the, the movement in Tabaxi is, like, it's unbeatable. But yeah. Leonin, just do it, you know? You have, I think you can, you think you have, like, uh, Intimidation is, like, you have something with Intimidation, I think. Oh. I believe. I be, it was a long time ago, I remember. <coughs> Now, if I wanted to change up my idea a little bit, I could go Yanti Pure Blood. It was where they're like they were just like, sort of almost like um, like or or a Drow. Ooh, I could be a Drow. So they, both of those races have like a distinctly come from an evil origin kind mm -hmm. of society. Maybe that that actually wouldn't work. Tieflings are very well accepted, and there's quite a few variants of Tiefling thanks to a lot of different um, uh modules mm -hmm. gosh i'm gonna go back and forth on this maybe i will just go satyr satyr it I satyr's like from the fey though that's like it's, they are they are they it's are very fey like but you yeah. know maybe you have some background no, of like the fey kicked me out because i was naughty when i was a kid oh you know what i got a fun one I think a, I said that thing about Eberron, but this isn't necessarily an Eberron one. I think it was popularized in Eberron. Janazi. Um, I, I I think in 5th edition it's not even considered an Eberron race. It's just become such a, a core one since 3rd yeah. edition. Um, so that gives me four options for that. Air, earth, fire, and water. Which one would I want to go? Air can get a little flight. Right. Fire Fire's kind of cool. Yeah, fire's kind of you know fire's the again the mid maxing op th situation, right? Yeah, yeah, but really, I, I like all the, of it can be. That's that's you're talking about yeah, combat yeah. only. Yeah, um, I love the good theme. I like this. I'm going. What do they get? I just just to see what I'm stuck with the building I'm stuck with here. If I pick one or the other, but obviously fire resistance for fire. Reach the blaze. Produce. Fire. Okay, okay. So they get some cool fire ability, right. like spells. Right. I think they all just get like spells and things, right? That's what it was. And then I think water. They can they they can breathe underwater, swim speed, and then yeah, water based cantrip, shape water. That's right. Yeah. So that's what they, they and then they get some spells as they level up. That's what it is. Perfect. Perfect. And which one gives me constitution? I guess they all just give constitution, right? Oh, and then dexterity. All right, dexterity is air. I know I can change this later. Uh, with it, that, that's that's actually a really good point. What's that? Using the Tasha rules, we're going to allow it. I think you said that before we started. Yeah, you can put your two. You can put your I two can. and your one wherever you want, or you can do one, one, one. <clears throat> yeah. And um, I'm gonna roll. Yeah. I'm gonna roll to see which Janazi I'm gonna be. Right, right, right. Air, earth, fire, water. One, two, three, four. Ready? Go ahead make it interesting one air okay there you go i will be an air genasi you, when do you get flight at what point do you get flight oh isn't it like some sort of let mingle with the wind i think it's like right off the bat I, th I think they're the one that doesn't get the spells uh you can cast levitate once with this trait requiring no material components you gain this ability when you finish a long rest and unending breath uh, you can hold your breath indefinitely those are both fun utility things. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that. I like that. And, and it could kind of go into your survival thing, you know what I mean? It's like, you could, as you're running away from somebody or doing, you could just go jump in water and just right. wait for them to pass by, you know? Uh, I don't think I, I have a name yet, and we're going to work out some of the kinks, I yes. think. Yes. We're almost at 20 minutes now. Yeah. But uh, I'm excited. I think the full in introduction of the character, fully conceived, with his name, solid backstory, and goals. But you kind of have a feel for what it's going to be. That's all going to be revealed in the next video. Yeah. I actually, and I might even go Staff of Flowers. I'm still back and forth on those two things. We'll, that'll be a Listen, surprise, too. Rob, I'm an easy DM. I'm here to help you. Help me help you. You know, I'm giving you options. Yeah. I'm a nice guy. Consider that. 
<laughs> no, I I actually think this is gonna be a lot of fun. Um, and also, I feel really good on your character to where I'm not worried about killing you. <laughs> like, you'll be fine. Like, if you if I'll you die, like it's because you know the dice weren't with you. It's not because your character wasn't good enough. Because you have right. a lot of strong things, you know. Um, so I think we'll be all right. And I, I think Genazi is a good choice because they um, are mingled a little bit with like nature and wild magic sure. without actually being somebody from the Feywild. Yeah. They're almost like born with some sort of gift from either lineage or otherwise that they had no control over or say, and they've grown up in normal society. And now he's discovering this thing that he has some sort of indirect attachment to, you know? It almost adds another layer to yeah. it, so I like it. It's a good um, choice. You know, the other thing that I did want to mention, um, shoot, what was it? It was, um, whenever it comes back, I'll tell you. I can't remember, but there, were, okay. there was another little thing I wanted to kind of bring up, you know, as like a Session Zero-esque thing, but it doesn't matter because I think we're good. Um, I'm yeah. excited. Uh, the next episode after this, guys, um, is we're going to start it and we're going to start playing. Um, and, uh, you know, um, get prepared for the Witchlight Carnival as it comes to town. That's not how I'm saying goodbye. That's stupid. All right, guys. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe. Hopefully you enjoyed this. Hopefully this was just good information for people that are just getting started and like are starting a new campaign or with DMs. Like this just hopefully this just brings out the conversation piece for you to have with your players. Um, Cause this was real. Like this was just real. We were just kind of sitting around and getting it done and going, all right, next time we play it's, it's game on. So um, yeah, Rob, you got anything else? Any ending comments? No, I'm excited. I'm looking forward to it. Um, and uh, we'll see. It's the first time I've done a solo game in a long time. Um, so we'll see how it goes. All right, guys. See you on the next one.